first swamp to make a move, I'll blast the kingdom come. Back to your post, you mutinous dog. We spent August 2nd and 3rd in Petoskey, Michigan. Quite a nice town. Over the two days, we did some shopping, did laundry, visited a nearby museum. We had one dinner out and one on the boat. Our original plan had been to leave Petoskey, anchor one night in Lake Charlevoix, then proceed to Elk Rapids, where we would leave the boat for a few days while we dropped off Jennifer and visit my sister Carla and her husband Ken. Unfortunately, Elk Rapids Marina had no available slips, so we would have to detour to Boyne City Marina at the south end of Lake Charlevoix. We traveled from Petoskey to Lake Charlevoix and got there in time for the 1 p.m. bridge opening. After a leisurely morning at anchor, we headed down Lake Charlevoix to Boyne City. But before that, we had to execute a rescue maneuver. While flying the drone, I lost one of the round styrofoam floats that I use when flying over water. After pulling the anchor, we were able to locate the float and scoop it up with a fishing net as we went by. Harbor Ridge Marina turned out to be quite nice and staffed by some very friendly people. The dock slip they had for us was only available until Saturday, so we were going to have to hope something else opened up for us to stay another couple days. On August 6th, we were picked up by my sister Carla and taken to their cabin about an hour away.
As it turned out, there was no dock space available for us to spend the weekend in Boyne City. So we said goodbye to my sister Jennifer, and Carla and her husband Ken drove us back to the marina. We gave Carla a boat ride up the lake to Charlevoix while Ken went ahead in the car. When we all met up at Charlevoix Marina, we took a walk through town and had some lunch. After that, Carla and Ken left us at the boat and we relaxed for the rest of the evening. The following day, we were able to extend our stay in Charlevoix as waves were a bit rougher than we like. We were able to do some boat chores, take showers, and have dinner at a Mexican restaurant. It was also an informal dock tails party for loopers. Trying to proceed from Charlevoix proved to be a problem. There are simply more boats traveling than there are slips available at all the marinas. Our next logical stop would be Leland, Michigan, but they are booked full for the next week or two. We ended up traveling to Northport, Michigan, which is not technically on our way, but allowed us to get a bit further down the coast. It looks like we'll be waiting here for a two-day weather window that will allow us to get to an anchorage off of South Manitou Island and then to Frankfort, Michigan. Meanwhile, we'll get to know this nice little waterfront town of Northport, Michigan, and we'll see you all next week.